children, particularly girls, do better in single sex schools? Well, uh, there's good evidence to show that uh, children do better in single sex schools because girls and boys learn in different ways. Um, and there's lots of evidence uh, to, to explain that. Um, I'm sometimes asked about whether girls and boys do learn differently, and I believe that they do, in my experience. Not in all cases, obviously, but girls prefer collaborative learning, they prefer discussion-based learning, um, and those sorts of teaching methods. And it means in a single-sex environment, you can tailor what you do uh, to those particular girls. Boys, they prefer uh, the teacher to be roaming around the classroom in a loud voice. They never need, never know where the teacher's coming from. Girls and boys are different, and single-sex education allows schools to really focus upon those different needs and strengths that they each have. Okay, secondly, do you think that it's a fair argument that grammar schools get good results, not just because they are academically selected, because the majority is single sex? Well, I think that's a very complicated question. Um, of course, grammar schools will get very good results because they do select the pupils um, in them. And it's no surprise that, uh, that grammar schools get excellent results. In fact, they should do. It's a travesty if they don't. Um, but what's more important is the value added. In fact, 86% of the top 50 grammar schools are single sex, whereas only 72% of all grammar schools are single sex. So that shows that single sex schools do add value as well. But I think it's actually much, much more complicated than whether it's just single sex or whether it's just selective. Most grammar schools actually uh, are in areas that are highly affluent and that have got huge parental support behind the children. And so what that shows is that actually um, parents that are giving students backing and support are helping them to make great progress as well as the schools themselves. So actually it's a far more complicated uh, picture. But that being said, there is still some evidence that the fact that single sex schools uh, do add a lot more value to um, individual outcomes both for boys and for girls. In 2013, 10 of the top 15 performing schools in the UK were single sex. Um, one in two of them were, were girls. And uh, um, the Department for Education destination figures um, released in 2014 showed that the top 11 schools for sending students to Russell Group universities, 10 of them were single sex, eight of them were, were girls' schools. Um, and that same data shows that the top 11 schools for sending students to Oxbridge, uh, nine of them were single-sex schools, seven of them were girls. Um, and so I think it shows, really, that uh, single-sex education is very good for young people. Thank you so much for talking to us.